Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Roseanne just got incredible revenge on Valerie Jarrett after tweet that destroyed her career. Roseanne Barr is at it again. After going back and forth with trying to stay off Twitter, apologizing, saying she'll make restitution for people she's hurt with words, and then coming back in a hailstorm of iced out tweets. She lost her show over a tweet that wasn't any more offensive than anything Samantha Bee or Kathy Griffin would say and she still lost her show, even though she's much more talented than the other two and had a top-rated show. Either way, didn't work. Roseanne popped back on Twitter to make a few statements about restitution, apologies, and then something else happened where she brought up Valerie Jarrett again. Before mentioning what she posted about Jarrett this time. We should probably point out that a lot of people had no idea who Valerie Jarrett was before Roseanne shocked her with a tweet. Roseanne has made Valerie Jarrett a famous name. She also just made her famous again after retweeting something very harsh about Jarrett. Roseanne mentioned making restitution for the pain she caused, then someone chimed in with a nasty message about Jarrett. Then Roseanne retweeted it to her audience of 882,000 followers, at the time. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That retweet surely will spark a controversy that lights up the town like the 4th of July fireworks. If you thought Roseanne went full force before, now check her out in her final form. This was brutal and Jared is going to have a lot to say about it. The Daily Mail covered this story as well. They wrote. Barr, whose eponymous show was cancelled after she compared Jared, who is African American, to an ape on Twitter last month, was raised Jewish and has previously said that she felt like Israel was home. In fact, Jared has spoken about her own Jewish ancestry in the past, revealing that her great-grandfather was Jewish and that she had attended Passover Seder as a child. On Tuesday, Barr also shared a tweet from another Twitter user who insisted that the 65-year-old hadn't been bullying Jared. Do you not know what VJ has done? Wrote the user, referencing Jared. Her tweet is nothing in comparison. And her tweet wasn't bullying. Barr shared the tweet and replied, they know not. After initially saying she was taking a break from Twitter, the disgraced TV star returned late Tuesday with her initial cryptic tweet, I'm making restitution for the pain I have caused. It is not exactly clear what Barr is referring to and she did not elaborate in further tweets she had earlier posted, deplatforming read about it. The comedian has been widely condemned ever since she compared former Barack Obama adviser Valerie Jarrett to an ape on Twitter last month. Following the fallout, Barr apologized for the tweet about Jared and to her colleagues but has repeatedly insisted she is not racist. She then retreated to Utah where she has been pictured in recent days looking disheveled. Roseanne is having a tough time after losing her show and costing many others their job since ABC decided to cut them off over a possibly misinterpreted tweet. Roseanne seemed to be convinced that Valerie Jarrett is white, which was actually a very possible situation since she has a very light skin tone. Regardless of Roseanne's intent. The damage is done and now she's either going to recover somehow or go into full blast mode where she lets loose and goes wild. Of course, it makes sense that all of this nonsense is happening on Twitter. That platform is full of people arguing and it's very toxic at times. Perhaps it's best if people turn it off entirely. Maybe we should deplatform ourselves from Twitter so we don't have to witness the toxic side of social media as it takes people's jobs away. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.